Good evening, viewers all over the world. My name is Oliver Ezedine. I'm the presenter on One of One on Zelip TV. And our topic today is uh, OKT Way for World Series. I'm here with uh, one of the indigenous sons of OKT, Chief IKB Iwanugo in Bodike of OKT. He is our guest today. And uh, you will be hearing from him all what he has done and who he is and his a good intention to pocket it at the Indian Ambra at large. Thank you while you watch. Hey, have you heard of Hotsoft? It's an online hotel management software that helps you with amazing features like room reservations, inventories, POS, check-in and check-out list, guest histories and guest birthday reminders to keep your customers close. Benefit of Hotsoft. Access to your hotel transactions wherever you go with just a click at www.hotsoft.com.ng. Reduce time spent on administrative tags, automated backup against data loss and in Increase your online reservation sales. Wow, what a fabulous incentive when you sign up to Hotsoft. Free staff training, free internet service package, and toll free calls to our customer care lines 24 7. Sign up to Hotsoft now or call 0813 873 6519 or 080 2590 Visit our website on www.zliftsoft.com. Hotsoft is Easy way to manage your hotel, powered by Z Lift Soft. This is uh, Z Lift TV. Then, okay, it's the way for say one. And we want to know who is Chief IKB. Well, um, Chief IKB Banugo is EKGP Banugo. Popularly known as IKB, Chief IKB Banugo. I'm from Anambra State, a native of Portuguese, a Demi local government, Demi South local government. Okay, it is good for work. It's an uh, indigenous initiative to better the lives of New York KTT and rebrand OKT as a town. What do you think about this good step? Well, um, uh, this step is, is okay, but uh, you have to put into consideration the way things are going in Nigeria. As a matter of fact, so many business people are complaining. Now, despite that, okay, it is moving forward. In so many areas. But, of course, uh, there has been a setback in OKT, which most people in OKT are complaining about the setback. For instance, in those days, we used to make rules, construct rules individually. Individuals construct rules. But now, if you enter it, you see so many rules are interpreted. Because individuals may not afford to clean up the rules. Now, up it is waiting for government to come. So, but notwithstanding, we will still have prominent identity, which now are trying to see what they what can be done so that it to move forward. The topic is moving forward, right? despite the the the, the hard economy. So many business people, so many people in Nigeria. Chief, mm -hmm. in your own words, how do you think OKTT could be better? Well, OKTT is getting better already. 
and uh, we have to we the fathers we do what we're supposed to do by educating our children how to know ourselves and how to be educated when you when you look at a place where you see a bunch of interest that's always problem but when you see a bunch of interest you see progress no matter whatever happens education matters a lot and all kids it has been able to the elders in our age have been able to know how to talk to their children how to advise them how to support them to go to school to be educated and that is how and the white book is moving forward now. Okay, what would you say that is the biggest challenge facing Orkitity presently? Well, the biggest challenge is like Orkitity was not what it was supposed to be, was it what it was before. Like, you know, when we talk about developments, in those days, we used to, individuals used to construct rules. Now it is so difficult because if you enter the city now, you will see so many dilapidated books which individuals made. So, um, well, uh, there's nothing we can do now because it is the institution of things not only in the city but in Nigeria. The economy is so bad, you know. So, notwithstanding, uh, okay, city, okay, city. With the way things are going on now, OKTT is in shape. And we continue, I don't think there's any problem in OKTT. The problem we have now, I will not fail to say, is because of the people that have come back to the village to OKTT, who have gone astray by getting, getting themselves involved in fetishism. You get what I'm saying? In fetishism. So we must embark on a very serious journey to embrace God. Wherever you embrace God, you see progress and development. In the late 80s and early 90s, you were among the successful people that motivated Igbo youths to abandon uh, schools and went into businesses for greener pastures. Some actually made it, while some didn't. Those who failed to make it in business after dropping out of schools became meanest to the society. And uh, did you ever regret being a role model to those school dropouts? Now, um, I understand what you're saying. You cannot compare them to now because there were so many opportunities of making money. If you go into business, there were so many opportunities of making money, not now. Then, we, some of us, we went, we could not be able to, you know, finish our academic education, university level. Went out and went into business. And we succeeded because we had the opportunity of succeeding. But now you cannot compare such then and now. So now there is the opportunity of succeeding in business is very, very tiny, very, very small. So that is what people are advised to go to school. If you're an educated person, it's far better you have a certificate in your pocket. Then if you want to go into business, you go into business. But then and now, there are two different opportunities. No more opportunity of getting into business and make it. So the dropout, if, if somebody had dropped out of school and you don't make it, it's unfortunate. Most of us that dropped out, then we made it. Most of us, we made it. But now it's difficult to make it if you drop out of school to go into business. So we don't advise anybody now to drop out of school to go into business. Finish your school first. And he said, you see those that dropped out. They didn't make it. I know some of them. 
who dropped out, they didn't make it. So these are the things we have to understand. Education, education matters now for anything we are doing. First, education. In June 1992, you were listed in Punch newspaper among the hundred richest Nigeria. What was your network as a then? Are you talking financially or what? Yes, your network financially. Well, how do I say so? We had uh, we, we 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 had uh, we had our business going on, and we had so many things we achieved in those days. We had money in dollars, we had money in naira, and we had that reputation, you know, which we achieved, you know, through hard work. So um, I don't want to say how much I had then, but I know I had. We were, we were solid financially. I was solid financially then. That is where that went to was demo. In 1999, it was alleged that you plotted a coup to oust the incumbent president general of AIU with orchid youths. What actually led to such allegation? Well, orchid was in crisis for so many years. And uh, the crisis was like there was no peace. So, uh, the Hebrew proverb says, Hebrew proverb says, if you go to the toilet, if you go to the bush to be yourself and you waste time, the next thing, all these big flags will come to you. Will come to you. So, it was getting so bad. And some people, you didn't want to understand why peace, why we must come back to peace. Because in any way, you don't have peace, there's no progress. So, why I did it personally was that I had, we had uh, an accord. This accord was stipulated that the general election must be general election, the next election, not the general election, not by the debates. So when we discovered that they wanted the people in power then, the people, the administration then wanted to to use delegates to to install their own people, their own person. And uh, then he rule away. And then, uh, and the uh, Oguze, they were not happy. When you, when you, if you remember, you know, the, the issue of uh, two villages and five villages. Yeah. They were not happy. Ibe was accused. Ibe took all the goods so that the peace would end. But the people in power then refused to listen. And I had problems with them. I am a no nonsense person, I don't care. When I want to do my judgment, I judge without fear of favor. So when I observed that they were going to store their own person, I don't want to mention names now. I said no. That is not what the accord said. What we had in a court then was general election, and they wanted to do delegate election by installing their own people. So I had to call them. I called one of them, one of the head of those. He refused to listen to me. So I had to engage the services of the youth. They went to the market, we went to the market to announce that today is election, not political election. Everybody should come down to hall, to the hall for the election. That they wanted to use delegates, the which they, they had arranged with them, and they had told they told them who to vote for. So after making the announcements at the key market. We went to the hall and disrupted the election. 
You say no, the selection is not like that. It's going to be by general election, not by the leader of the court. I showed them. So they started challenging me. I said, there's nothing you can do to me. So they left. So when they left, we went upstairs to conduct an interim election to install interim government, which I had to head interim government and became the PG, the interim PG of our entity. Just for only two years, two, no, more than two years, I can't remember. So eventually, a meeting was, a two's meeting was arranged. And I told them so. This problem had been on for so many years. Let us embrace peace now. If you install a person without the, you know, the, the consensus or the agreement of the town, we still having the same problem. So they said, okay, we should arrange for general election. The edit was set. We set up the dates. We now, because the 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 then it was unqualified that was supposed to produce the PG. So they brought two people from unqualified to contest. Then unfortunately and surprisingly, the people didn't show face. That is the 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 the, the, the contest the, the no no the the no the the, the the government then okay you know before we came in mm. they didn't the show face the previous administration they didn't show face and before God Amman when such when that announcement was made the whole of PTT was very happy the whole of PTT people were very happy about it because it would People come to us, so many people in the world of the And the election was conducted. It was conducted. And that was it. And that was what brought peace. Because the man that won that election was a man, Patrick Eze, was a man chosen and preferred by the whole town. He wasn't, he was, when there was this issue of two villages and five villages, he was on the side of five villages, but he was not supporting anybody. He was literal like me. Because I didn't believe in five villages and two villages. And they kept on calling me, I didn't care. So he won the election, and that was what brought peace fighting the peace. So when you talk about that, that peace, come to me, I brought that peace in my peace. For what I did to today. Well, then, presently, um, more especially the last uh, election that was held on the 5th of January 2021, where it was stated that this should be the last general election before, uh, as in by villages, before it should be thrown open, that should be done on merit. What do you have to say? Do you prefer um, villages to be providing a contestant? Or do you want it to be like uh, it's going to be on a merit that anybody who may see whether you're from Colofia or from Iroh, you can come out and contest. If you are mm -hmm. capable to win, then you can vote. No, rotational is good. Are you saying rotational candidate is favorable to Orchid? Okay, yes, rotational. Get it to get it. If you now bring it up to say to throw it out, you find out that. Maybe somebody, people from Nigeria will continue, or people from Colorado, or people from Europe, Europe this time, Europe the next time, Europe the other time. It doesn't make sense. This is democracy. Democracy is supposed to be protectional, so that everybody will be happy. You get what I'm saying? That is the problem in Nigeria now. So now we are trying for the presidents to rotate to Igbo land. So the Igbos will be happy. Otherwise, the North will continue to be there until we die. So rotation is good in, demo, in, in, in any democracy. You get what I'm saying? 
Okay, um, come to talk about politics. In 2003, you went into politics to contest for Anambra gubernatorial election under the UNCP party. What did you intend to achieve if you had become the governor? If I had become the governor, let me tell you something. Anambra was the Because I believe in you know, performance to do something for people to see, from speak us and clean achievement, to clean up the system. Because the corruption is too much. The corruption, the, the corruption in politics is, 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 is outrageous in Nigeria. I would have shown them that I was not there, I was not going to be there to make money. I was going to was going there to clean up a number to change a number. That was my ambition. But unfortunately, I didn't get it. But you know, you know when you talk of politics, you know crisis here and there. You know PDP was there. PDP was there, yes. So it was like, you know, the the the, the stress was too much. I had to back out. As a philanthropist, what would you say that was your biggest achievement in marketing during your head? Well, I, I, like you said, I motivated some young men. You know, it's myself and my friend do best with the best. In fact, we motivated the whole people. Like you said, we did not finish our academic education. We went into business, we succeeded, and others followed us. We made so many work out of school. So, in all KTT, like I told you, I made up Akibi Avenue, part it single handedly. Like in other villages, like you know, in other areas, you go to do so many people did the same thing. Now, if you could see, when I made up KTT, IKB Avenue. I wanted to call it IKB Road. That's another point. I said, let me let me name it IKB Avenue. Now, if you go to Okiti Tina, so many people that made their own roads, they named their roads Avenue. Because IKB Avenue was number one that came up. So many people followed Avenue, Avenue, Avenue. So many roads now are happy. So it was a good achievement, and the road is still there. So what we are, what I'm trying to do now, soonest, I will maintain that road, and I will clean up that road. And um, Igor Kabado, we have his uh, offer this year. What change do you want to bring in our cases? I have told him to invite the best and best. To be to be we don't want you to say that. The people that have made okay, because we brought up the name of okay, two of us. I cannot say Jimu because Jimu, they were elderly people, they were like our fathers. Jimu was another tough uncle that brought up okay, the name of okay. But we were young, very, very young. So with what we are doing, we brought the name of Okiti. So now Igwe now should try to give a, what do they call it? Award. Is it an award? Something like an award. Yes, make it an award for people who have made Okiti. So many people don't want to say that. Me, I don't want. If you give me for free now, I'm not interested. Like Joe doesn't want. So give us, give us something like a word. Then, you know, um, what does he do? He always, he used to give people, every time he used to give people, you know, chieftaincy titles. So I don't know what he can do now to make a change. It depends on him. But if I have anything in mind before then, I'll go to him because he listens to me. I'll go to him and say, you see what you're supposed to do, you know, doing my next affair. And 
that it will be released to you. So that's the way I look at it. Okay. What do you advise to young ones who are aspiring to be millionaires of tomorrow? Well, the most important thing is to be to be sincere. Sincerity. Don't connect us. Don't don't be too ambitious. You don't do what you're not supposed to do. It doesn't make sense. So sincerity matters. Whatever you are, you try to be sincere and try not to cheat. So these are the things because so many young people now they want it very fast, and in the process they fail, and in the process they they learn to serious problem. Be very very prayerful. Embrace God and pray morning and night. And whatever you do, be straightforward, be sincere, and I believe God will always look at you and God will listen to you. That's the way I look at it. Otherwise, you are hating anybody who is doing, you know, uh, ambiguous or who is trying to be, who is trying not to be straightforward in business. Of course, something will happen to you sometimes and you are finished. So, straightforwardness, sincerity, closeness to God, you will achieve it. That's the way it works. Well, thank you very much, Chief I.K. Mubalugo, in the case of OKTT. We have come to the end of today's interview. Thank you. OKTT uh, went forward the series. Eh? And uh, we hope to call on you anytime we want to hear from you or for you to tell people more about the best way to handle OKTT. We thank you for coming and uh, God bless you. Thank you very Thank much. You very Thank, you very much. Thank you very much. Um, we've come to the conclusion of today's uh, interview. Turn OKT to way forward. You've heard it all from Ibubetike on Honor Global. He has said uh, many things about how he come about, his influences over the young ones, and uh, even his great intention towards the same OKT he has been in all these years. So you keep watching Zelips TV for the up-to-date information about OKTT. And for more information about OKTT Town, visit oktttgeneral.com.ng where you will get information and latest updates on OKTT. Thank you very much and remain blessed. Well, I will see advice the viewers to keep watching the news TV, which I believe the young people will learn more. They will learn so many things when they watch the channel. <coughs> Knowledges of things that are happening, how to follow your life to be a successful person in your life. Hey, have you heard of Hotsoft? It's an online hotel management software that helps you with amazing features like room reservations, inventories, POS, check-in and check-out list, guest histories and guest birthday reminders to keep your customers close. Benefits of Hotsoft. Access to your hotel transactions wherever you go with just a click at www.hotsoft.com.ng. Reduce time spent on administrative tags, automated backup against data loss, and increase your online reservation sales. Wow, what a fabulous incentive when you sign up to Hotsoft. Free staff training, free internet service package, and two free calls to our customer care lines 24-7. Sign up to Hotsoft now or call 0813-873-6519 or 080-259-4459. Visit our website on www.zliftsoft.com. Hotsoft. Easy way to manage your hotel. Powered by Z-Lift Soft.